Hey guys, good morning. It's Becky Bamboo. Today's Thursday, June 30th, 2011. Can you believe it's the last day of June already? Wow. it's Time is flying, I swear. I, the summer is going to be over and it's going to be back to the shitty winter weather before we know it. Um, so I have some stuff to tell you guys today. Um, I told you all I would let you know when my video for my surgeon's website was posted. Well, guess what? It's posted. I got an email this morning. I'm a little pissed off because they spelled my name wrong. Um, so I'll tell you how to get to it. Um, if you go to www.hoab.org, and that stands for Heart of America Bariatrics, hoab.org, that'll take you to the main page. On the, on the home page, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a section that's called Latest News. And in there, there is, um, there's kind of like three new things they have posted and the very first one says meet Becky gastric bypass patient that's my video so you click the link it takes you to my video um, I have to say I'm a little pissed off that they spell my name wrong I my the spelling of Becky for me is B-E-C-K-I they spelled it B-E-C-K-Y and what pisses me off about it is all the girls at the office know that it's not with a Y and in the email I've been doing communicating with <clears throat> some of the staff about this video they spell it right they keep spelling it with an I I don't understand why it's wrong on the website but I emailed them and said hello that's not my name so hopefully they will get that fixed very soon because that pisses me off that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when people know you and you have communicated with them and you know all kinds of stuff and they still spell your name wrong if you spell my last name wrong I can get over that but come on it's not that hard it's just an I not a Y it's not that hard and I think what gets me the most is that there's three spellings of Becky B-E-C-K-I, B-E-C-K-Y, B-E-C-K-I-E now knowing that couldn't they at least ask for a clarification can you please make sure we got this spelled right No. So anyway, that's a, that just pisses me off. But the video's up. I would love your feedback. So if anybody wants to check it out, go for it. There's great information on there. There's recipes, um, all kinds of good stuff on their website. So um, go and check it out. Um, I'm pretty excited about today. Um, it's haircut day. I know. <laughs> Who gets excited about haircut day? I don't know. I get excited about haircut day. I'm not doing anything any different. I love my short um, my short locks with my little flippy do thing. I just it it's sassy and fun and it's me and I just really like this haircut. But I think why I like haircut day is because my mom comes down and we make it a girls' day. She's coming to my house early. I'm painting her toenails and we're gonna go out to eat and go get our hair done. It's just kind of a fun day with me and my mom. And um, I've talked about so many times how close I am with my mom. And so it's always just it's nice because it's just the two of us and we don't get that a lot so um, I always look very forward to haircut day <laughs> and it's really nice this time because it falls through the week so uh, when it's on the weekends usually we got to deal with my hubby and all kinds of stuff so it's kind of fun that it's just gonna be us all day um, oh the other fun thing that's gonna happen is um, this weekend um, a fellow YouTuber is going to be in my area and we're going to have a little mini meet and greet. Yay! Um, her, her channel page is, oh, and I always forget the numbers, so if I get them wrong, forgive me. I think it's Charmed93. Um, her name is Michelle. And um, she is has family that lives a couple of towns over from me and is coming down to spend the holiday and let me know that she's going to be here. We exchanged phone numbers and stuff a while back so that um, we were going to meet before. She wanted to meet me before the last time she was down here, but um, she did. It, she was trying to get a hold of me through my YouTube email, and I hardly ever check my YouTube email. I mean, it's just like so rare, and um, it, and I sure don't ever do it on the weekends. So she couldn't get a hold of me. Well, anyway, we have it worked out now, so I should get to meet her, and it sounds like her sister-in-law, who both of them have had weight loss surgery so it's gonna be kind of a fun little get-together um, I had gastro bypass charmed 93 Michelle had uh, lap band 
And then I think our sister-in-law had gastric sleeve. So between the three of us, we have the market cornered on uh, weight, loss, weight loss surgery, you know. I think it'll be a lot of fun to have, um, to kind of see different perspectives um, based on our different surgeries and stuff. So uh, I'm very anxious to to have a little meet and greet with them and kind of get to know her, especially because um, she lives uh, real close to my hometown. So when I'm back home, um, it gives me an opportunity to hang out with somebody, weight loss surgery friend, I guess. I don't, you know, I don't really have any weight loss surgery friends aside from you guys. And it's unfortunate that I don't get to like, have like one-on-one -on -one individual time with any of you. So very much looking forward to this weekend for that. Also, my brother-in-law who has the motorcycle is, um, going to Virginia this weekend and he asked if we would like to keep his bike and use it over the weekend. So we're going to ride the motorcycle again this weekend and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not sure my ass is going to be excited about it because um, after riding all day Sunday, my butt hurts so bad. <laughs> it really hurt really bad. Um, I told my husband, I said, if we ride all weekend, we got to take more breaks because Sunday we pretty much just were on the bike almost all day. Um, we, we got it at like 11 in the morning and I don't think we got off of it till like 5 that evening so I was on it like all day my butt was like oh it hurts so bad by the time we were done I like I didn't think I was gonna be able to walk but luckily it wasn't that bad but anyway we should have it all weekend so we're gonna do a little bit of tooling around on the motorcycle and I'm excited I love riding the bike just love it and <laughs> I was talking about it at work and one of my patients was like, that's just like a coffin on wheels. You're just riding in a coffin on wheels. <laughs> I was just laughing. I said, your car could be considered the same thing. And, and she just kind of sat there and looked at me. She's like, well, I guess that's true. I said, you could die walking out your back door. You could fall and die. I mean, I'm not going to live my life scared of dying or scared of getting hurt. If if we get in a wreck, then, you know, that's just what God intended for it to happen to us. I hope it never does, but I, I just don't think about that stuff, you know. If you if you worry to death about it, you're not going to have fun. And I like to have fun. So, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about getting to ride the motorcycle this weekend. It should It's nice. It's the long holiday weekend. I figured I was going to have to work, but um, it turns out that if, if I did work the holiday, they'd have to pay me overtime, and I'm not trained, so they're not going to pay me overtime. So I get a three-day weekend, which is great. I'm super excited about that. Um, what else? You know, it's just been a crazy whirlwind week for me. I just feel like I've been running around like nuts all week because I think um, with all the extra stuff I've been doing with photos and all my year surgery stuff and... It's just been kind of nutso for me. And I actually, uh, I had to share, I showed my some of my photos to the girls I worked with yesterday. And they were all, like, shocked. Just pure shocked. Now, they all know I've lost a lot of weight. I don't think any of them pre were, like, prepared for how much I had lost. And um, when I showed them the pictures, they all went... They were like looking at them and my pre-op photo, they said, this wasn't you. This isn't you. And I said, yes, <laughs> yes, it was me. And they were like, no, no, you don't, this doesn't even look like you. And I said, everybody says that, but it's me. And I said, I have proof. You can go to my YouTube channel and I have videos that I made from, you know, when I started that heavy and you can see and they were just, everybody was just shocked, and um, I got lots of questions yesterday <laughs> on our lunch break about weight loss surgery and um, all just, all kinds of stuff. I mean, from like the, the normal questions you always get asked about getting sick and complications to just very like random things, and so it was kind of interesting, but I think it... It helped give them a lot more insight into um, what this last year has been like for me and what kind of like personal growth I've I've gone through in this last year. I mean, um, it's taken a lot and all of them were like, well, it, it's definitely evident that you have been dedicated to this for the entire time. Like you haven't 
just, you know, half-ass done this. And I said, no, I've been very dedicated to this and I will continue to be very dedicated to this because I believe that's what it takes to be successful. Um, and I, I think it just, I kind of got a different level of respect from those women um, after, after seeing what I've gone through this last year. And um, so that was pretty cool. And um, I have to order scrubs from my company that I work for because we're required to wear their scrubs to work and I obviously don't have any yet so I'm not doing that but um, I told my boss I said I don't even know what size to order because I have scrubs in a whole bunch of different sizes that I wear and it just depends on the brand as to what size will fit and um, so we were kind of talking about it and I said well I think it's probably good. I'm probably going to need like a 2X or an XL and I don't know which one. And she's like, you don't need a 2X. You're going to, that's going to be huge on you. And so anyway, one of my coworkers brought in a bunch of scrubs for me to try on. And she has like, she's worked for the company for like 13 years. So she has like all the different styles that you can choose from. So she brought some of everything and that gave me a chance to like see face to face what they look like. And, um, she was like, well, I didn't even bring in the two extra larges that I have at home because they're big on me and you are smaller than I am. And I was like, oh, okay. So I was kind of disappointed and I was thinking, I really hope these fit. And I went in the dressing room and the extra large pants fit really well. I like them loose. Um, I don't, I can't move in tight pants, I, especially not for, for working. And to me, scrubs are supposed to be loose. So... The extra large pants fit really good. Um, I can I can wear the large, but to me they were a little bit snug, and I I'm just not I'm just not for snug scrubs. So I decided, well, the extra large pants will be perfect. So I thought, well, then the extra large top will be good. It was freaking huge on me, and I was like, oh my god! So I put on the large, and even the large was loose, and I was like, wonder if I should get a medium. But then I was too chicken. I ended up ordering the large because I was just, I can't, I've never worn a medium in my life. And I was like, I'm too chicken to order a medium because I'm scared it'll be too small. So um, anyway, I ordered the large. And if I, if I get them and I decide the large is too big, I can order different um, extra, extra ones and I have to pay for them. But they're really cheap. Um, they're like $4 for a shirt or whatever. So um, I thought, well... If I end up wanting to get a couple mediums, I'll just do that at, you know, whatever. But it freaks me out. I used to wear, I, I had five extra large scrubs that um, I wore at one time when I was doing nursing. And um, I had continued to wear them as like pajama pants. But at my heaviest, I couldn't wear them. They were too small. So I would have needed a six extra large. And now I'm ordering large. And it's like, what? My brain can't wrap around the sizes. I, it just can't. And um, my boss said, see, I told you you didn't need no 2X. That, that was going to be huge on you. And I said, I just, like, when everybody kept telling me, you, you're a large. You just need to get a large. I was like, get out of here. Like, that just, I can't, I just can't get used to that. So after I showed them my pictures, I think they all had a different perspective on why I can't quite see myself as the size I am. Um, and it's something I'm working on. I'm working on, you know, studying the pictures that I have and taking more pictures of myself. But um, it's, I, it's a process. And I don't think, it, I think it's going to take a while for me to fully comprehend what size I actually am and that I'm not a you know, 6X anymore, and that I'm not a 2X anymore, and that in a lot of things, I'm not even an extra large anymore. Um, it's just very, very odd. And, and like, I have a, a baseball jersey that I did a video in when I first was able to wear it. I've worn it twice, and it's an extra large, and I put it on to go to the ball game, and it's just huge on me. So, I just, it's like those little things, I can't wrap my mind around how different things are. So, Anyway, I just wanted to share all that stuff with you because to me it was like it was a pretty big non-scale victory to um, be ordering a size large in scrubs. It was like, what the hell? Really? A large? Really? It, it's beyond like anything I can comprehend. So, anywho. Okay, so 
um, hopefully I'll get a video in tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'm sure I probably won't get one in this weekend unless by chance, I don't know. I'd love to do one showing you guys the bike and stuff, but the weekends are crazy for me. I don't know. I just never feel like I have time to do a video. So anyway, um, that's it. I hope you guys have a fab, fab task. Fantastic! I can't talk. Fantastic. Um, rest of the day. And uh, if I don't see you guys, have a great 4th of July. And I will check back in soon, I guess. Uh, oh, I got to remember. I got to make a note to make sure I do a weigh-in on Monday. This week is just flying. It's like... I haven't gotten anything done that I want to get done aside from the chores that I had to get done. <laughs> Gym time has been nil this week. I feel ashamed of that too. I really do. Um, but I'm going to make it happen today, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, that's it. Have a great day. Love you guys. Mwah! Bye.